Hello, everyone. This is HBCU Game Day, and I am Simone Stanley today, joined by another very special guest. He is currently a defensive back at Grimsley High School out of Greensboro, North Carolina, and he is an incoming commit for the South Carolina State University Bulldogs. It is Jordan Watkins. Jordan, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Of course. So, Jordan, I saw on social media that you were in attendance for the Celebration Bowl where the Bulldogs took down the Jackson State University Tigers in a somewhat thriller. I will call it a blowout. But what was your reactions and what were the vibes like at the Celebration Bowl? Um, my reaction was I kind of expected it. They kind of doubted. They doubted South Carolina State for the past two weeks. <laughs> and I, I trusted in all the coaches to come in, plan accordingly, and have a great game. Um, the vibe was something I've never been a part of, being around people that look just like me, all for the common goal of supporting an HBCU. It was amazing. The crowd was rocking. Everybody was nice. It was just a great atmosphere. Definitely. So you just recently committed to South Carolina State University. Congrats on that. And of course, congratulations on the Celebration Bowl. What made the Bulldogs program the perfect fit for you? There were there were plenty of factors that fit into it. One, the coaches, all the coaches were personable. They were all nice. They were all they all kept it real with me, which is something I appreciate when you're honest with me. Um, so the coaches were nice. The, the atmosphere and the community surrounding it, the history of the school, I, I could get behind. It was Coach Pugh being a great coach for the past 19 years. It's kind of an opportunity you can't pass up on. Of course, Coach Pugh, definitely a legend. So I recently talked to your current teammate and your soon-to-be teammate at South Carolina State, Tamori Johnson. He's defensive end right now at Grimsley, and he recently committed before you to South Carolina State. What were you guys' conversations like? Did you did he have an influence on you committing to South Carolina State? Did you have an influence on him? How did that click and turn out? Uh, no, ma'am. It was kind of a mutual, mutual decision. We went down for their game against a t which we sadly lost. But just the environment, the the atmosphere of it all, after seeing what we saw what we needed to see, so on the ride home, we were kind of like, yeah, this is the one. We can't pass up on this. That's amazing. So you also had North Carolina Central on your um, offers list. North Carolina Central, obviously an hour down the road from Greensboro, another HBCU in the MEAC. What made South Carolina State stand apart, though, from the other HBCU cultures and experiences you could have been a part of with the Eagles? Um, honestly, the distance. The distance kind of played a, a, a factor in my decision, along with the coaches. I'll be getting coached by Coach Barlow, who won two SEC championships at Auburn, played pro. So that's kind of – I'll be getting coached with, by somebody with experience that could help me get to where I want to be. So you said the distance. You you don't like Durham? You don't want to be in Durham? No, I like Durham. It's just kind of, <laughs> I don't want my parents to be able to pop up on me. I feel like that three and a half hours gives me a little more leeway and freedom. Definitely. I can totally relate. So how do you, you finish your high school season? How do you think you're going to be able to have an instant impact on this Bulldog team that's trending upward next season? I feel that I can come in as a freshman and kind of keep that, keep the train rolling. You can ask my teammates, my coaches. I feel that I'm a pretty good leader, and they can account for that. So I feel that me being along with some other dogs on the field, you can't pass up on, and I feel that I can help us keep rolling. Dogs, no pun intended there. So what part of your on-field game do you think is going to translate the easiest from the high school level to the collegiate level? On field, let's see. I'd say – Probably, probably the speed. I feel that that speed won't change much since at Grimsley, we, we were kind of coached to be prepared for college. So from day one, I'll be prepared. So the, the, the speed, the fastness, you can't fake fast. So your defensive back, nowadays, that means so many things, corner, nickel, safety. Where do you see yourself lining up on the field in college? I see myself at, as either like a rover safety or a nickel. And what makes that the perfect role for you? 
I feel that at as a rover, I can still be downhill and do what I love doing, which is hitting people <laughs> while still playing in coverage. Of course. So you talk about your speed. I mean, that's what you think is going to translate the easiest. What part of your game do you think you're going to have to work on the most and adjust the most for when it comes to collegiate football? I would say probably the understanding of the concepts. I feel that like I do that well, but I understand that I'll be getting coached by Coach Saxon, and he likes to coach fast and have multiple sets with one place. So I feel that that's what I'll need to focus on doing. Of course. So you said a little bit earlier that Grimsley prepared you guys for the collegiate level. What do you mean by that? How do they prepare like you, Tamori? You guys had another five star that went to Chapel Hill. What is Grimsley doing to turn out so many top they're, prospects? All the coaches, they're kind of honestly, I feel that every coach at Grimsley could be coaching at a, at a college just because the way they approach it. They approach it to where you practice how you play. So they'll give us in-game situations in practice. They'll give you in-game situations. They'll they'll make you think while you while you're tired. They'll make you run sprints and then ask you questions about, okay, what do you have on this play? What do you have on this play? So it just helps keep you running at top performance while you're tired, which I feel translates to the college level. Of course. So looking on to your college career, what are some of your goals for the collegiate career? I know the Celebration Bowl and winning that has to be one, but what are some of your goals for college football? Honestly, my goals, one, I want, I want the Celebration Bowl. I want to be able to experience that at least twice. I'd also say just keep, help, help South Carolina State keep on the upward trend that they're on now. Definitely. So what are some matchups that you're looking out for that you're excited about when it comes to your college football upcoming season? I'm really excited for probably Central and a and since those are kind of the schools that are home. So I get to come back home and play them. Definitely. Well, I can't wait to see what you do, of course, at South Carolina State. It was a thriller seeing them really like you said, they were the underdogs. Nobody was putting any respect on their name. And they came in and really punched Jackson State in the mouth. And not only that, they have a lot of good guys in the pipe with you and Tamori coming up next. So it's going to be some great football to watch in the MEAC and especially at South Carolina State University. Well, guys, I'm Simone Stanley. This is HBCU Game Day. Thank you guys so much for joining us.